discrepancies amongst the northern working class group and the anti-war vote trending Trump uh, tells me New Hampshire is going to be very close. So they made a big deal about the Manchester Union Tribune endorsing Biden. Yeah. They've been they've been shifting politically for a while now. They're like Bill Crystal. They're utterly useless. No, they're no longer the barometer of New Hampshire political tendencies of any kind. Frankly, um, they they don't have the power, the potency they once had as a conservative uh, advocate in New Hampshire. Um, so I think it's going to be very close. I think the key is going to be the he'll, he'll, Trump will increase his voter share in northern New Hampshire and in the working class areas in central New Hampshire and in working class areas around Manchester. The question is, does he lose much ground in these uh, Massachusetts suburbs? They, they call them the Boston suburbs because a lot of them are Bostonites who moved to southern New Hampshire, Rockingham County, some of those counties. How does he he'll, he'll lose Dover and, Cor- and Concord? Uh, but like Hanover, he'll lose less because there's, there's no, Dartmouth is not active. I mean, so a bunch of the university campuses are not active. That we used, that that by itself was the three thousand vote margin in 2016. That's not there now in 2020. Um, right. So that by itself could give Trump the edge as long as he doesn't bleed too much in the suburbs where it showed in the professional class portions of those areas. Uh, there was a real democratic excitement on the presidential side, so he might lose enough of the vote there to lose it. But that's why I say it's. Very close. Uh, it's nowhere. It's not an eight, 10 point lead. None of that nonsense. Uh, and it's worth a betting on because he's, I think it's around 20, 25% right now in the betting markets. I, and while you're uh, 